Hello, people of the internet! My name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF News video, and today is a very, very exciting day because we just got our first official poster for the upcoming FNAF movie. Holy crap, I just looked at how bright red I am. Basically, Jason Blum, who is the head of Blumhouse Productions, the people behind the FNAF film, was doing an hourly countdown over on Twitter. A lot of people, as you can tell from my face, were waiting in anticipation for it to reach zero because we were kind of expecting a FNAF trailer, but honestly, I'll take a poster because it looks absolutely phenomenal. So let's not waste any more time. Let's talk about it. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it is the official reveal for the four main animatronics, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and also Mr. Cupcake. I won't forget about him. I'm assuming this is just a straight up picture of the live action animatronics made by Jim, Hen uh, Jim Henson's Creature Company for the film. I don't know why they would use CGI, so I'm assuming this is what the full animatronics look like, which is insane, because they do look like they got ripped straight from the frickin' first game. Like, I genuinely cannot get over how just spot on these guys look. Like, even, even Mr. Cupcake, like I said, let's go back to Mr. Cupcake, little Carl the Cupcake, he looks frickin' insane. They all look absolutely amazing. Freddy's bow tie, as you can see, I mean, it looks like an actual real legit bow tie. It's got so much detail on it. Foxy in the back looks so menacing, holy crap. You can even see a whole bunch of details on the other animatronics. Like I said, Bonnie has a more realistic, like, bow tie. He also has a guitar strap for his actual guitar, which also looks like it, it's been ripped straight out of the games. I mean, that looks identical to what his guitar looks like in FNAF VR Help Wanted when you have to repair it and you gotta twist the little... The twisty things on the guitar, I, I'm not a musician, I don't know what they're called, but it looks absolutely incredible. Even Coral lights up, and yes, I'm going back to Coral. They just look absolutely freaking insane, and we also have an official reveal for the actual logo. It appears that they're not going to be going with the classic FNAF logo that has that hacked font that we all know and love and see in YouTube thumbnails all the time these days. Nope, they're going with something entirely different, of course, still rocking the Five Nights at Freddy's text, but it is uh, more akin to what the text and the font looks like on the Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria sign that we're gonna see in the FNAF movie. And of course, you've got the classic Can You Survive? Five Nights at Freddy's, October 27th. Quite frankly, I still just can't believe how incredibly good these guys look like oh my god their fur texture looks absolutely amazing holy crap they did such an amazing job and their eyes actually light up red i cannot wait to see these guys in action hopefully in a teaser trailer or maybe full-on trailer soon that's what i'm hoping at least because if you didn't see the news a like 53 second long teaser trailer was rated 14a so suitable for viewers 14 and up in canada so I'm hoping we can get that pretty soon. And of course, we did also get that leaked three minute long, like final trailer a couple weeks ago. So hopefully we can get a full on teaser trailer pretty soon because I want to see these guys in action. I want to see them moving around. I want to see all the actors involved like Josh and Elizabeth and William Afton, you know, Matthew Lillard. Imagine we can see him walking around. It's it's going to be so cool. I, I hope. I hope we can get something soon. And I, I know I sound selfish for getting a freaking poster and like, oh, but I also wanted a teaser trailer and I want this and I want this. But honestly, it's just because I can't wait to get this film. We've been waiting so long. I'm, I've just been staring at this poster for like five minutes straight and I still can't get over how incredible these guys look. I'm popping in during editing because we got a bit more to talk about. They released a few extra posters and even an official website while I was editing that main segment. So first up, we have four, not technically new posters, but we have individual posters of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. First up, of course, we got Main Man Freddy with his terrifying red eyes. Not much to talk about with this teaser because he was kind of front and center in the main poster so he was the animatronic we saw the most of but he still looks absolutely incredible still can't get over how his texture looks their eyes are also super detailed we did get that one like leaked behind the scene uh photo of jim henson's creature shop like someone was walking on their eyeballs and it looks freaking insane next up we got a closer shot of bonnie who also looks fantastic very very happy he's got an official guitar strap i feel like that actually adds to the character something i never realized bonnie needed but it makes him that much more of a rock star and i love him for it again the super detailed bow is just a super amazing added touch to make these characters a lot more realistic and lifelike third poster might be one of my favorites chica with mr cupcake aka 
Carl. Something I didn't recognize immediately off the bat in the main poster is Chica's bib. It looks like it is very, very detailed. It might even have the same texture as FNAF 1 Chica. I wouldn't be shocked if Scott just gave Jim Henson Company the actual texture, but either way, it looks absolutely fantastic. Very spot on. Chica's beak is obviously a bit more metallic texture going on there it looks freaking amazing carl looks spot on he looks so cute i still can't get over how his candle actually glows that looks awesome and lastly we have the character we saw the least of in that main poster which is foxy and holy crap he looks badass i cannot get over foxy he's definitely gonna be probably the most menacing out of the main four. I really hope he gets a good, like, chase sequence in the film, because I feel like if you're doing something with Foxy, it's got to be a chase se sequence. That's exactly what he does, you know, in the first game. But Jesus, man, he just looks so menacing. I cannot get over how Foxy looks. So that was a few extra posters, but they did also show off an official website, which is, which is something I wasn't expecting. It's not much. Right now, it just has the official logo for the film. Of course, the release date. It has a save to calendar option, which is fantastic. A few of their socials down at the bottom. Though off to the side, it does have... Um, a another thing for the reminder and also an official synopsis for the film most of this i believe we have seen the you know the film follows a troubled security guard as he begins working at freddy fazbear's pizza while spending his first night on the job he realizes the night shift at freddy's won't be so easy to make it through then you've got all the actors and, and the cast and the crew jim henson's as well uh also off to the side here so not too much new stuff going on with the website, but it is very, very exciting to have an official website up and running. Ah, here we go. All right. I was wondering when they were going to do this. So it looks like they're officially updating all the social media pages for the FNAF movie as well. If you remember, we saw this, um... Twitter account and like a Facebook account as well as some other account Instagram that's right uh but it just had the default universal logo profile picture and banner but it looks like they're switching that over now and look at this oh my gosh popping in one last time because the official Twitter account finally made a post this is their first post uh, if you want to follow it I'll leave it linked down below obviously it's pretty simple just got the poster saying can you survive hashtag five nights at Freddy's in theaters and streaming uh on Peacock October 27th so Definitely stay on the lookout for this Twitter account because I'd imagine they're going to be posting a few more things in the coming months. And also just to end off this video, this is someone who actually works at the Jim Henson's Creature Company and they confirmed this is a shot of their actual animatronics they made. This is not a render. This is not CGI. That just goes to show how insanely well made these animatronics were. I mean, the YouTubers that got flown out to see the set said they looked one-to-one -one recreations from the original game, and they were not freaking lying. These guys look spot on, and I am blown away. But frankly, that's gonna do it for this very quick FNAF news video. I just wanted to show off the poster, the brand new logo for the film, FNAF. It, it looks so good. I freaking love everything about this poster. It's everything I'd hoped for. So tell me what are your thoughts in the comments down below for this poster. Do you like it? Do you wish maybe they went for a different style instead of all the animatronics lined up like that <laughs> one image all the FNAF journalists use? But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.